gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas I call her out now I got blood on blue Balenciagas What it do Bear Squad It's your boy Bear here coming to you guys with a brand new video And today I decided that I wanted to take a look back at the Black Ops 4 multiplayer beta And kind of talk to you guys about what I did like So I made a video prior earlier this week that was about how it might be the worst call of duty yet and i want to reiterate the word might now i have my own feelings about it and that's how like i said that's how i feel to I feel about it and those are my entitled feelings but right now i want to talk about another set of feelings that were good like i i want to i want to talk about all the good things because i as a youtuber i feel like i should not only make videos about the positive things but i should also make a video about the negative things and vice versa so in this situation when i first got on the game nothing but excitement i felt the same thing i felt in black ops 3 i i actually live streamed it so if you guys hadn't seen that i'll put that in the description below so you guys can see my first couple of games and see how i felt about it but i um i actually launched into heist the first time didn't really like that game mode got to give that another chance sometime in the future but my first real game, I think I was just taken aback by how tanky everybody was. And the more I played with it, the more it got irritating uh, based on the fact that, you, like I said, people are pretty tanky. Now, the coolest thing and one of the things that I really liked in the game before any of the, before all the bullshit, before anything else, I liked the way the guns felt. I liked how they weren't super out there. I liked how they sounded like gun sounds it really took like the developers took time to make gun sounds sound really just nice it didn't sound choppy it didn't sound like they just tried to throw it in there it sounded they sounded nice also i liked the way the guns worked like how they how like their accuracy a lot of the weapons were super accurate it almost felt like the game was balanced and that there even though there were weapons that were more powerful it was balanced so you could use whatever you wanted to and still have the same results to a certain extent I think that was one of the cooler things I am not the biggest fan of specialists but I like what they did with the character designs the character designs look really fleshed out in my opinion uh, the game I don't know if it was just because of the TV I was playing on or maybe the, anything like that the game did seem kind of like well, I guess since it was a beta, it's not finished, it's not polished, but generally when it comes to like the beta, because it, cause like you have to think about it, this is the beta. So the initial game is only about like, at this point in time, I'd say it's about a good, you could say about a month, maybe two months out, a month and a half. They're not going to do very much. They're taking our feedback, which was another thing that was really cool. The fact that they actually changed up the game for prior from week one to week two and took the time to listen to that means good things for call of duty this year now were my complaints in the initial game or in my initial rant video uh to the point where i would never play black ops 4 no is it something i'm excited for on the channel on this channel and to be making content for probably somewhere down the line i really want to see how they do in like the first couple of months and one of the things that I wanted to, that I didn't reiterate on there, on my uh, rant video, and I don't mean to bring this into my good thing video, but the fact that they, the business model does not allow you to create and pick up maps. So you basically have to flesh out about, well, I'm almost positive that the Black Ops Pass is $50, but I'm not sure, but that's still $110 for the Black Ops Pass. I, I, it just doesn't seem like something that I would be having a lot of fun with, and so therefore, that's not something for me. But, another thing, the score streaks, they were very fun to use. The ebb and flow of how, like, the, the score streaks worked into your, your gameplay, and how when you were on a roll, you could just keep going, and it was just nasty. Like, those were nice. I actually like a lot of the fact that they made specific characters based on call of duty like based on playing as a team now here's my thing i don't think call of duty is call of duty anymore i think with 
Black Ops 3, they've created a whole different type of Call of Duty. And because of that, I feel like that's where the initial, um, oh, you know, it's not like Call of Duty. It's not like the Call of Duty I used to play. Hashtag not my Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Like, that's where that comes from. You know what I mean? So, when I, when you, when you go into it, Going into it in mind with a mindset of, you know, certain game modes are the more powerful game modes and playing with a team are better. Like, so when I say more powerful, I mean, like, search and destroy, control. Those game modes where it is based on eliminations and using your specialist's ability to control a point or control an area are awesome. Like, I'm pretty sure it was Torque that was the dude with the shield and the barbed wire and... Initially, you would come into the game and you would think, oh, hey, some guy with barbed wire is not going to be that guy that runs the game. And he really is. He's really nice. He's a really good character, a solid new specialist to add to the Black Ops, like, specialist list. So, I guess what I'm saying with this is, is that when it comes to the game itself, it was, it was awesome. It was awesome. I know I had my, my thoughts. There were, well, I'm not going to say it was awesome. Here's what I'll tell you guys. It was probably one of the, not only the better betas that I've played, but there were a lot of good moments, just as well as there were moments that I didn't like. So to that, I say that, will I not play the game? No, I will play the game eventually. Now, is it the worst Call of Duty? I think the worst Call of Duty has nothing to do with how the game actually plays. Like, it's about a 50% chance on that. And that the fact of the matter is, is that there is a high possibility that you could completely ruin your game based on how you go about it as a game developer. And with that being said... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like. Check out all of my social media links in the bio below. Also, if you guys haven't signed up, or I said the bio, I meant the description. If you guys haven't signed up for the $25 giveaway this month, make sure you guys do that. Make sure you guys get yourselves locked in on that. And uh, it's it'll be in the description as well. If you guys like my content, then make sure you guys leave that sub. Join the Bear Squad, and I will see you guys. We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers. Walking out the tin and blue with Lisky Yaga.